Welcome back to our channel. I'm Abhisar and today we are delving into a crucial aspect of web security that safeguards our online experiences, the web application firewall or WAF. In this video, we'll unravel the mysteries of what a web application firewall is, how it works and why it's a vital defender against cyber threats. Whether you are a tech enthusiast or just curious about online security, you are in the right place. So let's dive in. And just a quick info for you, if you want to upskill yourself, master cybersecurity skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various cybersecurity programs. Simply Learn offers various certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like MIT, IIT Kanpur, EC Council and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like advanced hacking concepts, network packet analysis, ethical hacking, network security, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier product and security companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a cyber security role as a fresher or move on to higher paying job or profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box to find a cyber security program that fits your experience and areas of interest. So let's get started. And here we will start with what is a web application firewall. So web application firewall serves as a protective barrier for websites and web applications by monitoring, filtering and blocking HTTP traffic. This crucial security component operates in various forms including network-based, host-based or cloud-based configurations. Typically deployed via a reverse proxy that WF is strategically positioned in front of one or more websites or applications. Whether functioning as a network appliance, server plugin or cloud service, the WAF meticulously examines each packet. It employs a rule-based approach to scrutinize layer 7 web application logic, identifying and filtering out potentially harmful traffic that could exploit vulnerabilities. Enterprises commonly leverage web application firewalls as a fundamental security measure. Their role is vital in safeguarding web systems against a spectrum of threats, including zero-day exploits, malware infections, impersonation, and both known and unknown vulnerabilities. And one notable strength of WFs lies in their ability to conduct customized inspections, swiftly detecting and preventing critical web application security flaws. And businesses opening products or services online such as e-commerce platforms or online banking services find WFs particularly advantageous. Now we'll see how a WF operates. A web application firewall operates through software, an appliance or a service serving as a critical layer of defense for web applications. It meticulously scrutinizes HTTP requests, employing a predefined set of rules to distinguish between harmless and malicious elements within the communication. The core elements of HTTP conversations subjected to WF analysis predominantly include GET and POST requests. GET requests are employed for data retrieval from the server, while POST requests facilitate the submission of data to a server for altering its state. The WF in essence acts as a gatekeeper, intelligently discerning and filtering the content of these requests based on its tool set to ensure the security and integrity of web applications. This dynamic process allows the WF to proactively identify and mitigate potential threats such as SQL injections and cross-site scripting attacks, contributing to a robust defense against a myriad of web application vulnerabilities. And now we'll move to approaches used by WFs. So WF employs various approaches to analyze and filter content within HTTP request. And these methodologies include whitelisting, that is number one, and here WF adopts a default deny stance, permitting only trusted requests listed in a predefined safe IP address registry. Whitelisting is a resource efficient compared to blacklisting but may inevitably block legitimate traffic due to its broad filtering approach. 
while it offers efficiency precision may be compromised and then comes blacklisting utilizing preset signatures blacklisting blocks malicious web traffic and safeguards website or application vulnerabilities it employs a set of rules to identify malicious packets making it suitable for public websites handling traffic from unfamiliar ip addresses blacklisting is resource intensive and requires detailed information to filter packets based on specific characteristics rather than relying on trusted ip addresses and then comes hybrid security a hybrid model combines elements of both blacklisting and whitelisting simultaneously aiming for a balanced approach this model seeks to leverage the strength of both methods providing a more nuanced and adaptive security strategy regardless of the chosen security model wef scrutinizes http infractions preemptively mitigating malicious activity before reaching the server for processing regular policy updates are crucial for addressing emerging vulnerabilities although some wefs now incorporate machine learning for automatic updates and then comes importance of web application firewalls in modern expertise or modern enterprises in the ever expanding digital landscape web application firewalls play a crucial role in safeguarding enterprises offering online products and services whether it's online banking social media platforms or mobile applications businesses face the constant threat of data leakage making the implementation of a wf essential one primary concern is the protection of sensitive data like credit card information and customer records often stored in back end databases accessible through web applications and cyber attackers frequently target these applications to exploit vulnerabilities and gain unauthorized access to valuable data and for industries like banking and compliance with standards such as the payment card industry data security standard pci dss is paramount a wef becomes a valuable asset in meeting pci dss requirements specifically the mandate for a robust firewall system as enterprises increasingly adopt mobile applications and engage in transactions via the internet of things the application layer becomes a prominent arena for potential security breaches here the wef emerges as a cornerstone in the modern business security model however it's crucial to recognize that the effectiveness of a wef is maximized when integrated into comprehensive security strategy this strategy should encompass other security components like intrusion prevention systems intrusion detection systems and both classic and next generation firewalls the synergy of these elements ensures a robust defense against evolving cyber threats in the dynamic digital environment and now coming to the types of web application firewalls and exploring the options web application firewalls come in various types each with distinct features and considerations let's delve into the three most common types number 1 is network based wefs network based wefs are hardware based solutions installed locally on premises through dedicated appliances this proximity to the application reduces latency enhancing performance and major vendors facilitate large scale deployment by allowing dual and setting the application across multiple appliances however the drawback lies in the cost upfront capital expenditure and ongoing operational expenses for maintenance and then comes host based wefs host based wefs integrate fully into the application port offering a cost effective solution with increased customization options despite their advantages managing host based wefs can be challenging they rely on application libraries and local server resources demanding more staff resources including developers system analysts and devops or devsecops for effective management and then comes cloud based or cloud hosted wefs cloud hosted wefs present a low cost alternative ideal for organizations seeking a turnkey product with minimal management resources easy deployment subscription based models and simple dns or proxy changes for application traffic redirection characterize these wefs although interesting a third party provider with web application traffic filtering may pose challenges it enables widespread application protection across diverse hosting locations and now we'll see the wf examples number 1 is barracuda then cloudflare f5 and then more security that is open source web application firewall then naxsi 
this is also open source and web night that's also open source web application firewall and there you have it guys a closer look at the web application firewall the unsung hero protecting our web applications from various threats if you found this video informative don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your fellow digital explorers and subscribe for more insightful content as always stay secure in the vast digital landscape now signing off and until next time keep learning and stay ahead staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career we've got you covered Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.